So I had a busy, busy day in Armenia. Let me tell you about it. First, I need to set the scene. I had a surprise visitor. Well, maybe it wasn't so much a surprise. I was asked about it, but the whole situation was a little surprising. Apparently, even though I have an ex-wife, we're very good friends, wonderful person, and she's a Colombiana. I met her in Pareda when I was there on a job uh, some 16, 17 years ago. We had a wonderful marriage, great person, but apparently, even though we are divorced and went our separate ways, her family is still my family. They reached out to me and they have a situation they ask if I could help. Now the help doesn't call for much. It's my ex-wife's niece or cousin something doesn't matter. They figure that I'm family and they need something. And no, it's not money. It's not like that. They live out in the middle of nowhere. Now this girl has graduated high school and she wants to go to the university. And the plan is that she goes to Armenia. Well, guess what? I'm in Armenia. So they asked if she could come here, use my extra room, which she didn't use. She actually used this couch for two days so that she could explore. Plus, while she's here, she wanted to do some Christmas shopping. So that's a setup. But before she was coming on the bus, I had to run some errands. I had to pay some bills. So first, we're gonna pay some bills. And I'm gonna show some clips along the way. Now, it's my first time in paying the bills, so I had to discover where to do this. Some is very simple, like the gas pay that almost anywhere. My cell phone, 50 million places to pay that. The internet, there is one place in Armenia to pay it. There's many movie star, that, that's why I have my internet through, but there's one place to pay for your internet. And I had a heck of a time. I went to three different ones before I discovered the actual location, which is in Parque Boulevard. So I had to hike around for that. I had to pay my water bill. Now, I just moved in here a month ago, but I got a water bill for three months with overdue and an immediate shut off notice. So where do I pay my water bill? I asked people and it's like, no one seemed to know, but I discovered it and it's down in El Centro and there's one place. So in the El Centro at the market area, I'll show some clips because I walked through there. There's a building, and in that building is also a market, but in there it's for shoes, for clothes, for things like that. But on the very top floor, you pay the water. I got real lucky, I had no line there. So I zipped right on through. Went to pay the electric bill, heck of a line. People in line didn't seem to matter. There's some football, soccer game on TV, so they're all watching that and they're into it because that's the thing here. Uh, for me, it was just a long line. But I paid my electric bill, I paid my water bill, and I got to the internet and paid the internet bill. So I'm doing good, right? With all the running around, bus, taxi, walking, lines, took me about three hours. And every month, I have to do that. Every month, you will have to do that. There are some things that you can pay uh, with debit, but after something that happened in Ecuador, where I basically got robbed by a company and got it back, but it took almost a year to correct the problem. I don't do that anymore down here. So for me, it's not an option. Then. Finish paying the bills, I gotta get to the bus station. So here I am at the bus station, taking a few clips. The Armenian bus station is nothing to write home about. Small town, it's a small bus station. 
There's nothing really special about it. It's got all the necessary things, the restaurant, the cell phone, SIM cards. And so I waited and waited and waited for the bus. I was there about an hour uh, waiting. I get a message from her. She's in Machu Picchu. I go, what? There's a restaurant just north of Armenia. It's a big restaurant, five star. It's called Machu Picchu. So it was a joke. Okay, so she has bad jokes. Maybe we'll actually get along. So then she arrives. And here you can see her hopping off the bus. I don't know, I think she was sleeping, rubbing her eyes. Now we had exchanged photos, so I knew what I was looking for. She knew what she was looking for, so that was no problem. Fourth, which we're doing tonight, actually, and that's going to be a separate video because obviously I haven't done it yet. We did Christmas at the park, and I've got a few clips where we walked by last night. It's all lit up, and down in the park itself, uh, it's supposed to be like this winter wonderland without the snow. It's, it's all these light uh, scenes as you walk through the park. It's a big park, there's a lake, there's waterfalls, there's a river, there's all kinds of things going on in there. And everywhere are these Christmas lights. So I'm looking forward to that. We're going to go do that tonight. And I, I hope that makes a good video for you. I will be using the stabilizer on it. I did not take the stabilizer to pay the bills and do these things. I just, it's so new, I didn't even think about it. I didn't know that I was going to do video, but why not? I should be doing that. Well, the fifth thing is she goes to the school and the university, checks it out. Well, I stay here. Now that's right now. That's this time. As soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to sit down, open the laptop and start editing this video to upload today or tomorrow. I don't think she'll get lost. I've already showed her where those are, what bus routes to take, so it shouldn't be a problem. I'm right next to the university, so that's not a problem, and I'm about five or six blocks from the Sena. Again, pretty simple. Last thing I want to mention is to send a huge thank you. Huge thank you. As many of you know, Editing videos has been a chore. I, I've had to use mediocre software because editing is about the most taxing thing you can do on a computer, on a laptop. It really sucks up your uh, resources. I have not been able to do videos in very good resolution, 30 feet per second. Is the, is the best I've been able to do, where I should be doing them at 60 feet per second. Now somebody asks, good question, but movies are done at 24, so 30, it should be at least as good as that. Well, you would think so, but there are differences in camera, but more than that, when you're editing, you're editing film from a higher quality down to the feet per second. It retains a quality feature about it. There's less movement, herky-jerky, things are more smooth. When you're doing it in low quality and editing it there, it retains all that uh, jerky movement. I have a new laptop. This is an Intel i7. It was actually designed to edit video. So I was able to instantly upgrade my editing program. I am so happy about that. It, I, it's been paid for, I've had the ability, I couldn't upgrade because I wouldn't have been able to edit any longer. With my other laptop and the one before that, I burned them up. It's, it's too taxing on them. It runs really hot and that's even doing it low quality video. Now I can up my videos to 60 frames per second and edit them. I can put them out at 60 or 30, whatever. The laptop has no problem processing it. So that's huge for me. Hopefully it's going to be huge for you. I'm sorry about the dogs. There's a dog hospital right across the street. And during the day, I get this sometimes. Usually it's about 10 minutes. The rest of the day is quiet. At night, there's no problem. But of course, it's when I'm trying to make a video. I feel like I'm back and hit home. But that was all day long. That never ended. And I could, you could throw in some roosters. So on the laptop, thank you so much. It's a lifesaver. I 
am almost up to where I have everything I need to do much better quality videos. And so I'm going to be working to learn those programs and really up the game. All of that crammed into a day. Plus, of course, a few things I couldn't add. I didn't bother going out to dinner and going to lunch and skipped all of that. I hope you like it. I'll see you soon.